Hi guys, uh, this is final example on operating point analysis. So I uh, I have introduced in this uh, schematic a current source, and this is the circuit that you might be having in a textbook and you want to uh, do the analysis using LPS five. So I will show you how to do it. So you see there are two 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 objectives. Uh, one is to introduce you to various kind of uh, kinds of analysis like operating point analysis, transient analysis, AC analysis, and at the same time there are various circuit elements that I I also have to tell you about. For example, how to represent the current source, how to represent the voltage change. So throughout these series of tutorials, I will be uh, covering both of these two objectives. So. Now you have the circuit in your notebook or textbook and you want to perform the empty spikes analysis. So the first step could be to name various nodes. So I have node one here. You can name in any order, right? The order doesn't matter. All that matters is you should have identification of various nodes. So I am calling this node as node one and this as node two. This as node three. And uh, I'm calling this voltage source VA. Whatever you wish, you can name it. The name should start with letter V. This is the rule. And similarly, I'm calling this resistor as R1, this resistor as R2, this resistor as R3. And finally, name of current source will always start with letter I. So I'm calling this as RS. You can call it I1, IV, or whatever. And its value is one million ohms. So let me describe. Let me uh, describe this circuit in text-based entry. Let me open this notepad here. And uh, why is my waiting? Uh, <coughs> so the first step is to. Sorry, the first line is always a comment line. And uh, comment, uh, comment okay. uh, and uh, voltage. Okay. Voltage plus resistor plus current uh, motor. So first line is always a comment line. And description of all these elements can come in any order. You can start with writing R first, about resistors first, and then about voltage, then about current, or whatever way you wish. Okay. So the first line should always be a current line, and the rest of them are interchangeable. So let me start with uh, VA. So this is the voltage is VA between node 1 and 0, and its value is 1 volt. Again, DC 1 volt. I'm not writing units. Then there is resistor R1 between node 1 and 2. Again, remember that SPICE is case insensitive. So there is a resistor R1 between node 1 and 2, and its value is 1k. R2 between node 2 and 0, its value is 2k. And R3 between node 2 and 3, its value is 3. And then there is a current source I S. Now I told you that uh, the first uh, node is the where current starts, right? So for current source, you you have to start from this node because it's just starting from zero to three. So I will write zero and then three. So see the difference. For voltage, it is always the positive node first. Always the positive node first. And then the negative node, and for current source, it is the originating point to the final point. Okay, so zero is the originating point, and three is the final point where current is going to. So IS is between node zero and three, and its value is one milli ampere. So M for milli, remember M for milli, MED for mega, and K is for K. Okay, so one milli, A, A I can write A for ampere, but I omit units. So that's what uh, that's why I have deleted it and enter. And because this this circuit contains only DC sources, for example, this is a DC source, this is a DC source, and I want to know various node voltages and branch current. So 
my command should be dot op and then finally dot end and file save as LTS summer. This this is the folder where I want to uh, save my design and let me write RCI register cancel voltage register and I network dot SP. Don't forget this extension, okay? And this should be changed to all files. Save and that is it. Let me open this circuit file in LG Skies so I can click the shortcut from here. And this is the voltage source I see. If you are not able to see the your circuit file, then there may be two reasons. One is that it is set to something else. So you cannot see anything here. You must change it to dot uh, sp. And other reason would be that you have not saved your file with any of these three extensions. Okay. So if your file doesn't belong to any of these three extensions, you are not going to see it here. Let me open this. Ah, what is that? We want to. What did I do? Let me do the file. Open. Okay. So, well, so I have opened, I uh, written the circuit description and the analysis request is here. And then I will hit this running man to select the circuit and you can see the result and why there are minus and plus sign and all these things. You can always uh, interpret as I have told you in the previous tutorials. So, okay, thank you, and keep practicing as much as you can. Uh, practice makes you perfect, okay? Thanks.